Good morning friends and happy Wednesday. Uh, today Brian and I are going to be leaving our house. We haven't left the house since Sunday. I guess it's just the sign of the times. Nobody goes anywhere anymore. Uh, but we are, Brian actually has an eye appointment later on this afternoon. So we're going to be leaving here I don't even know what time we're leaving yet. Haven't even discussed it with him. But we have to go run a few errands before the eye appointment. And then um, after the eye appointment, we are going to go grab a bite to eat at a new restaurant. And I have just kind of been, I've made up the bed today. I didn't do it yesterday. Um, and I've just kind of been straightening things up around here. I'm actually getting ready to go sort some laundry. I got new hangers the other day at Target. So I've been putting these in my closet back here and then I've been taking some to the closet in the guest bedroom because I wanna start taking all of the hangers out of there and putting my clothes on these hangers because these are so much better than those other regular plastic hangers. And uh, they actually give you more room in your closet and the shirts and stuff, or sweatshirts and stuff, stay on them a lot nicer. Well, they just stay on them. They don't fall off at all. Um, but yeah, so I just thought you guys might want to hang out with me today. Day in the life. We might go do something. We're going to go do stuff this afternoon. Go run around. We're going to check out a new burger place. So I'm excited about that. So if you guys are excited, stick around. I'll check back with you guys later. Hello guys and happy afternoon. <laughs> I haven't vlogged the rest of the day since I seen you guys earlier. Um, I just kind of knew that I wasn't going to, but we are, I'm currently parked outside of an RC hobby store and um, Brian's actually here to pick up a couple of things for his RC car that he could, that he needed. Um, there's like an RC track right over here and um, he is getting back into his RC racing. So um, he's happy about that. He picked up a sponsorship that he had before from it. And um, so he's just kind of getting back in the groove of RC racing. That's what I'm trying to say. And then we are going to, uh, hopefully we're going to go to a store after this and get um, some drinks for his um office tomorrow he's training tomorrow and friday and so he likes to have stuff in the refrigerator they're stocked up that you know guys can grab a drink if they want it or something like that so that's what we're going to go do is get some of that and then we're going to go to his eye appointment which is at the mall and then after that we are going to go eat that's what and i'm excited because we're going to go check out a new place tonight which is called big daddy's burgers so I'm excited about that. We're both excited about trying a new burger. And we haven't had burgers in like, well, I made burgers about a month ago when I had everybody over when Brian's parents were here. That was the last time we had a burger. So we're just excited to have a burger tonight. And then after that, we're gonna go home. So yeah, it's gonna be quite a busy afternoon or evening. I wanna show you guys too, I changed the watch band on my Apple Watch. I had like that pink one on there and I changed it to black. So I finally figured out how to do it and it kind of freaked me out. Um, do I change the watch band on my Apple Watch? I had, what? Oh, that must be Courtney texting me or something because that was weird. I'm like, what? What is it doing? It's saying something about me changing the watch band. That was so weird. So anyhow, so yeah, I like the black. I just kind of wanted to change it up because the pink one was kind of getting a little bit dirty. So I need to like wipe it down, clean it off. And I just kind of wanted the black. Okay, I don't know what it's doing now. It's Now it's repeating the same thing that I just read. So how weird is that? Anyway, I don't know what the problem is. Hopefully I didn't like mess it up when I changed the band. Oh geez. I think, oh weird. Anyway, anyhow, so that's it. Um, that's it. I, uh, I will check back in with you guys a little bit later.
So Brian got some stuff for his office area and for the guys for when he's training, which is like Cokes and some coffee cups and some coffee creamer. And then we got some Kleenexes. I got some candies. And I'll tell you the reason why I got the candies later on. I got some of these for the house. These are his like creamers that he likes. And then Pop-Tarts. And then this bottle of margarita stuff, which goes with the candy. And I will definitely tell you guys all about that later on. So last night, we were sitting upstairs watching TV and Brian had went out to throw popcorn out to the deer. And while he was out there, I had noticed that somebody was at our front door and they left a bowl of like Kentucky bourbon and some other couple of other things and some candy in this really cute like Halloween bowl. So it said, you've been booed. What do you do next? So you had to like go put stuff on somebody else's house or not something on somebody else's house but like go boo somebody else you guys get what I'm saying so we got booed and so now I'm gonna go boo somebody else in the subdivision which I think I'm gonna boo my neighbor and I was trying to collect a few things to put in a little basket for the boo event so that's what I was doing so that's what the that was that's what that margarita thing is for that's what the little candies are for also the candies are for us as well not gonna lie we put those upstairs and we eat those too it's chocolate why not and brian's like no don't buy such a big bag but we did anyway and i'm waiting for brian he went to the restroom i went first and then he went and then i'm like i'm like while you're in there i said i'm just gonna walk out to the car and put the stuff in the car and now we are headed over to the mall where he is um gonna go for his eye appointment so while we're there while we're there i don't know i might walk around for just a split second and just check things out um around the mall it just depends on how long it takes for him because i have no clue how long it takes but anyway that's it <coughs> that's what we're gonna do and i'm so excited because i'm like hungry and i want to go eat i wanted a starbucks while we we're here or while we were here at target but i just knew number one it would fill me up and then i would not be hungry for a burger and i'm like dying for a good burger and number two i'm afraid it would probably make me sick because i'm kind of on an empty stomach and sometimes eating or drinking on an empty stomach causes me to be a little on the ill side so i'm just gonna avoid being ill and hope that it works out when I go eat. If not, we'll be rushing home. I hate having IBS. And it's funny, um, this girl that I know, Allison, she used to live in Georgia. Now she lives in, um, in Atlanta. Well, in Atlanta. No, I take that back. She used to live in Georgia, and now she moved to Florida. But anyway, she had her gallbladder removed a couple weeks ago and I, I warned her I'm like as soon as you have your gallbladder removed girlfriend you're gonna have all your food is gonna go through you and that's exactly what has happened because when I had my gallbladder removed back in 96 I think it was um ever since then that's kind of why I've had this irritable bowel um same with my mom same with my sister same with my niece anybody who has that removed they know you're gonna be going to the bathroom like all the time but anyway here comes brian so we're gonna head to the mall see you there so brian's looking at these for his new glasses which are very very nice and then he's looking at these for his new sunglasses which are also very very nice these ones are oakley's and these ones are rough Lauren. very very pretty good morning friends and happy thursday wow <laughs> so you guys are probably wondering what happened to the burgers <laughs> i you guys okay so it took forever at the eyeglass place like forever we didn't get out of there till almost seven o'clock last night which was crazy there was one guy training two people and those two people had customers us being one of them and then there was another guy that was a customer and the main co-worker the non -tra the trainee guy was going back and forth between those two ladies trying to train them trying to help us trying to help the other guy and it was just a complete nightmare of a mess 
I was getting cranky because I hadn't eaten anything, so I was getting hangry. I was just getting frustrated, and it was just... It was just a bad, bad evening. And then when we finally did make it out of there, we drove over, which is less than a mile from the mall to Big Daddy's or Bad Daddy's Burgers or whatever. The place was packed, jam-packed full of people and we ended up not eating there <laughs> because it was so packed. I was just like, you know what? We're not eating here. I'm not going in here. I just wasn't in the mood for it. And so we ended up going to the Mexican place, which is right down the street from our house. And I didn't share anything from there because it's just, it was just, a, it was the same place that we've gone many, many times before and I just didn't feel like sharing it. And by that time I was like so hungry that I wouldn't have had time to take the time to, sorry, I'm trying to get adjusted in my bed, uh, to share with you guys that I had chips and, and chips and salsa and I had a chicken chimichanga. That is what I had. But anyway, um, and then we came home and pretty much crashed. I obviously washed my face, brushed my teeth, did all that stuff, and came came home and like crashed, laid in bed. I laid. I actually watched TV till about ten o'clock because it was. Well, I mean, it was rather early-ish when we got home, so like eight o'clock. But it was just bad. So now, because of the nightmare we had at Lens Crafters there at the mall, I have to actually go back there today when they open and actually pay for Brian's glasses. <laughs> so they have them on hold and I'm gonna go pay for them today. So I am gonna go make a trip to Target. I'm gonna make a trip to the mall. I'm gonna make a trip to the Spirit Halloween store. So those three places that I have to go today and Target opens up at nine, the Spirit Halloween store opens up at nine and the mall doesn't open up until 11. So I think what I'm gonna do, it's 7.40 right now, so I'm gonna get myself together and ready. I'm not showering anything this morning. I already washed my hair and everything yesterday afternoon before we left to go to the eyeglass place the first time around. And um, so I'm not gonna do anything like that. I'm just gonna wash my face, brush my teeth, and I'm just gonna head out. Then I'll shower tonight. You guys don't need to know all that. Doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> anyway because I wanna to get to the Spirit Halloween store at nine o'clock. I have a coupon, I think for 20, 25% off. So I'm looking for like a witch's cape for my little witch's ride next Friday night. And then after the Spirit store, I'm gonna to go to Target or I might go to Target for, I don't know, one of the two. I'm gonna figure it out as I go and how I feel like it. And then I know that I can't do anything from like, nine to 11 because of the whole, yeah. So I'll have plenty of time. So I, yeah, I'm just gonna get myself together and ready. And we're gonna go to Spirit Store. <laughs> we're gonna go to Target. We're gonna go back to the mall. And yesterday when we were leaving the mall, so we parked at Dillard's because that's where, outside of Dillard's is where um, the Lens Crafters is inside the mall. So you gotta walk through Dillard's to get to the mall. It's inside there. Anyway, as we were leaving last night through Dillard's, I, was walking past the purses and oh my god i did not realize that the dillards here sells louis vuitton bags <laughs> i was like because i was just like in such a bad mood last night after the whole eyeglass fiasco i just like walked past them and then saw them because i was like walking thinking of food thinking of burger thinking of like i want to get out of here so i can go eat and i'm like Oh, they have Louis Vuitton bags. What do you know? So, while I go back through Dillard's again today, I think I just might take a little bit of a sneak peek at a couple of their bags and see. I've wanted a Louis Vuitton bag for several years now. Um, it's just really, it's not a necessity. Let's just let's just say that it's not a necessity at all. It's a want. It's not a need. It's a ridiculous need um but i've always no it's not a need it's a ridiculous want not a need <laughs> strike that reverse it 
Um, it's a ridiculous want, not a need. So, um, anyway, we're going to look at those. Look, you know, I saw like a glimpse of my eye. I saw one yesterday and I'm like, so here's my thing. I don't know if I want the Neverfull, which is like the big bag, or if I want a crossbody bag. I haven't really thought about it much because I really, I love crossbody bags. Crossbody bags are my, my thing. They're my jam. They're like what I love the most because they're just easy and convenient. I just put it on over my shoulder. I have everything right there. I can walk in and I don't have to worry about it, especially if I'm walking around somewhere. If I know that I'm going to be walking around somewhere, then I love a crossbody bag. I hate shoulder bags. I have to walk around with them all the time. It drives me crazy. So that's why I was like, but if I got that Louis crossbody bag, then then I could use it like a lot more than I probably would. I don't know. I don't know. It's a want, not a need. It's a want, not a need. I'm just going to keep repeating that. It's a want, not a need. So, all right. I've been jabbering on for five minutes and 20 seconds. So I'm going to go. I'm going to get myself together and ready. And then um, we'll get out of here around the nine o'clock time. That way we can go get some stuff done and you guys can join me. First things first though, I'm going to make up the bed. Alrighty, so I am ready for the day. I'm going to go run the errands. But before I did, I wanted to show you guys really quick what I was talking about when I said we got booed. So we have a sign in our front door right now because it actually says to put it in your front door for like two days to let everybody know that you got booed. And then um, this also came with it. It says, you've been booed. Now what? Please keep this fun tradition going by following these directions. Number one, enjoy your treats. Number two, place the we've been booed sign on your front door or in a window. Within two days, make a copy of these instructions, a copy of the we've been booed sign and bake or buy some yummy treats. And number four, secretly deliver to a neighbor who hasn't been booed yet. And that's the reasoning for putting the sign in your window to make sure that nobody else boos you. So. I'm doing this um, in hopes that the person that I'm giving this to has not been booed yet. But anyway, you're supposed to give this to them and then you're supposed to like pass it on, pass it on. But yesterday when I was at Target, remember I showed you guys that we picked up this margarita stuff and then I picked up a bunch of candy to put in here as well. So this is so far what I have in our little boo uh, bucket. And this actually is one of the buckets. This is the bucket that the people gave to us first to boo people with. And I wasn't sure if like we're to, tr you know, continue on trading this one around, but I'm just going to go ahead and keep trading it. But anyway, I just thought it was a cute idea. So this is what it's, it is so far. So I'm thinking maybe a couple of uh, margarita glasses or something in here. And then a couple of other little, you know, things, but anyway, this is what it looks like so far and then we'll just put this with it and then a copy of the other sign that is in our front door and um, leave it by somebody's front door and hopefully they will enjoy being booed. And because we got so much booze from ours, <laughs> we did, we got a lot of booze. So, booze. <laughs> so let me show you guys, this is our leftovers from last night because we were like starving. We ate so much but anyway this kentucky bourbon was one of the things that was in our um boo bucket we had four of these and then we got a couple more other type of alcoholic drinks um i know the people who did it because i saw them on our cameras <laughs> anyway um they gave us let me turn the light on here so i can show you guys they gave us the Captain Morgan's, which is right there. And they gave us this Taste of Florida Pina Colada mixed drink stuff. So that's what they gave us in our little boo bucket, which I thought was really, really cute. I, I, I'm not a big drinker, so we'll probably just have it around. Look, I'm not a big drinker at all. Look it, I am so not a huge drinker. <laughs> We got like a whole cabinet full of drinks. Yeah. Anyway, um, a lot of those were gifts from where we used to live. But anyway, so I'm ready to go and I'm going to go ahead and get in the car and then I'm going to head on out to Target first. So I made it to Target. I'm in the dollar spot and I did not get to look at these. 
last night when I was in here with Brian, but I did see these from a distance. These are super, super cute. Little wooden houses. They have the ceramic ones too. Little black ones down there. Those are cute too. These are such cute little mugs too with the little red Christmas trees. These are from Hearth and Hand. These are $4.99 a piece. Aren't those cute? Those are adorable. And this blanket. Super pretty. They have some of their Christmas towels out, some of their soap dispensers and wash rags. Cute. They're starting to get their Christmas stuff out. Makes me excited. So I was over here trying to find a little toy for that little boy. And first I thought about Forky, but he may not know much about Forky because he's only like two. And then I thought, well, maybe Woody. But then I'm like, they have a wiener dog. So I think I'm just going to get him the little wiener dog. It's so cute. And then I'm going to get their dog a little Halloween chew toy. I always like checking out their games. This one's a Disney game. It's called Code Names. So what is that all about? Two teams compete to be the first to identify all of their team's treasure cards display in the grid. Oh. So it's like memory. Oh, that's interesting. And then this one's a color brain game all about guessing the color of things um green cues and cues that's cute i love the pictionary game that's fun that's a lot of fun upwards that looks fun too i always like that that's always fun that's like a retro battleship look how cool that is that's really neat and then Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Look at these Pac-Man games. And Breakout, that's fun. Mastermind, Light Bright. What, the speak and spell, that's cool. You guys, oh my gosh! Strawberry Shortcake. I had her, she's so cute. These must be like a nostalgia, yeah, retro toys. That's awesome. And then this Etch-a-Sketch. How cute. Strawberry Shortcake's $12. And then the Pound Puppies. Those are adorable. That doesn't look like a real Care Bear. I'm sorry. That's not a real Care Bear. And then the Spiral Graph. Those are cool. I love all the nostalgic ones. I really love the Strawberry Shortcake. I mean, that really brings me back. 50th Anniversary Doll. I want her. She is adorable. I mean, how many of you guys had the strawberry shortcake doll? I'm really debating. I really want her, but I just put her up in my Disney room. But these are all so cute. What was that back there? Oh, no, that's a real Care Bear back there. That's Angry Bear, I think. How cute. These are so fun. That's whack-a-mole. Those are so fun. I love all of those retro toys sorry about that so after i put some hand sanitizer on i am going to the spirit store well that was a nice little trip to target like i said last night i didn't get to really look around much because i had brian with me so that's always fun he's always like let's get in get what we need and let's get out my, when I go to Target, like, you know, Target is your, like, time, you know? Target is my zen time. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Guys, don't, hey, the Brian's like, I haven't been to this Target in, like, 12 years. I'm like, probably. So let's look around and, and enjoy. No. So, <clears throat> anyway, so we are off. We are headed to the spirit store now. Woo, and I am hot, hot, hot. Whew. All right, let's go. You know, I actually forgot that I have a Party City right here, so I think I'm actually gonna run into Party City really quick just to see if they have anything, and if they do, then I'm just gonna skip going to the Spirit Store altogether, because it's like right here. I don't wanna have to drive all the way on the other side of the town just for a 
witches like cape or cloak or whatever and party city is open so let's just go into party city even though i do have a coupon for the spirits no i don't have a yes i do have a coupon for the spirit store we will see let's go to party city first and let's see if they have something here and if they do then i won't have to go and then i can just go to Publix and go to the grocery store and be done with it so that'd be great so let's just go here party city here we come curbside pickup that's not me all right let's go Whew. they got some scary stuff here i love that like scarecrow guy he's cool those guys are pretty scary oh lord look at the two-headed doll that's freaky madame leota haunted mansion that's cute all right i'm here for witches stuff let's look for witchy stuff these are fun footless tights those are cute they're not witchy though i'm having a hard time finding witching stuff so far all this stuff do witches wear boas no witchy stuff this is all feathered boas oh no okay i found some witchy stuff so like there's hats and stuff i'm not paying 25 dollars for a hat but that one's cool i'm not paying 10 dollars for a hat but i will probably pay 3.99 for a hat um because even though my sister-in-law is supposed to bring mine tomorrow night but just in case she forgets i'll have one and it's only 3.99 and then they have like witch's nails i'm not getting those i'm not getting that renaissance that's a small medium <laughs> can't wear that so they have a feather cape but i'm not paying 30 dollars for it that's not gonna happen crap so i didn't find anything in there i didn't even get the hat I'm just like, I don't really want to spend $4 on a hat if my sister-in-law brings mine tomorrow. Like, if she forgets, then I'll just have to swing by her house and pick it up. But now it's like, do I go? You know what? I'm not going to go out to the spirit store today because I'm actually supposed to have lunch with Courtney on Tuesday out that way. So while I'm out that way, that's when I'll go to the spirit store. So I think right now, whew, I'm actually just going to... Yeah. I'm just gonna go gro get groceries and go home. That's what I'm gonna do. So let's go get groceries. So 10 minutes later, I'm at the Halloween spirit store and I'm gonna go in here and see what they have as far as witchy, ass witchy costumes. And then I'm gonna go to the mall and pay for Brian's glasses. And then I'm gonna go to the grocery store and then I'm gonna go home. This used to be a Toys R Us, by the way. See the little people? and the blocks yikes now that is some scary stuff right there and i'm not walking through there but oh look how crazy scary that guy is reaper's island yeah have fun with that okay so wicked witch exactly what i see right when i walk in but i'm definitely not gonna pay a lot for it let's see hooded capes adults one size hooded capes oh black hooded cape includes cape $16.99 oh, that's more like it or do I get like the black lace cape Ooh, I kind of like this one oh, they have witches brooms and stuff here too oh, I love this hat that one's cool how much is that one $12.99. That's an awesome hat. It's like a patchwork or quilt hat. These ones are really fun too. How much are these ones? $14.99. I like those. That's fun. Oh, I don't know which one to get. Oh, there's a cauldron down there. Now that would be fun to like have all the candy in. $9.99 for that. That's cute. I can carry that around with all my candy. Okay, I'm totally doing that. I'm totally getting that cauldron. Oh dear God, he is 
so freaking creepy. Oh god. Peekaboo. Oh my god, he really did scare me. No! Oh. I just love that game! Particularly oh. with crying little babies! <laughs> I'm ready to play again! Oh god, that is so scary. Ooh, those things are creepy. I love them though, but they are creepy. Ugh, oh my god, look at these nasty babies. Oh, and that one's eating spiders, you poor thing. Oh, lord. I would not want those in my house, that is for sure. Opposable dummy prop? Um, no. Oh gosh, I guess I'm supposed to stand on these. They don't work. That is just scary. Oh, and the big double-headed rat. Oh, dear Lord. Dearness, dearness. They go spiders. Ooh, gross. Wish I could find, oh, here's the tights. Let's see if we can find black and orange tights. I'm highly doubting it, but I have um, black and white ones at home. But I want, there's purple ones. Probably not my size. Probably not. So, Spirit Halloween store for the win. I'm very happy about that. I got the red and black tights. I got the black cape and I got a hat and I got the cauldron. And I used my 20% off. So that helped out really, really well. I was happy about that. So anyway, total, my total came to like $47, I think it was. So. I am okay with that, not a big deal. 50 bucks to enjoy my night as a witch, that's kind of fun. And I have my little witchy hat, my witchy shirt on again. So now off to the mall to pay for Brian's glasses. <sighs> All right, so I'm here about 15 minutes early, 15 before 11, and I know the mall itself is open and I know Lens Crafters is open because I looked on their website but Dillard's itself is not open yet. So let's see how long it takes me inside of Lens Crafters and then we'll walk through Dillard's if it's open. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so I made it to Dillard's. This is the one that I was looking at and I absolutely love this one. This is the one that I want. This is the one that I would get. I love it. I'm not a big fan of the strap, but I would rather it be like a leather strap. But I like this one because this is a perfect, perfect crossbody. So I love it. They have so many here too. So many pretty ones. Love them all. Oops, I got home. I did not go to the grocery store because I was getting hungry and I had to pee really bad. So I um, went through Chick-fil-A, grabbed a chicken sandwich and some fries, and of course their sauce. Came home, rushed in the house, went pee, sat down, started eating, and started watching Super Enthused on YouTube. She's just another like Disney vlogger that I absolutely love watching. And I drove past my neighbor's house who I was supposed to be giving the boo bucket to. She's already been booed, so I can't give her the bucket. So, I have another couple that I'm going to give the boo bucket to. I'm just going to obviously have to skip giving the slinky dog because um, I think the people who I'm gonna give it to, if they don't have a boo on their son, if they don't have a boo on their door, um, they have teenagers, so that's kind of stinky. But, they do have a dog, so I will still give the dog treat to the dog, and then um, I will just save the slinky dog for my little Lucas Christmas stuff. So, uh, yeah, so that's what I'll end up doing. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. But yeah, I'm just finishing my sandwich here, and I'm watching a YouTube video while I eat. So that's what I'm doing. And then after that, I'm gonna get all my stuff out that I got at Target and the stuff that I got, oh yeah, at the Halloween surprise store, Halloween spirit store, surprise store. Excuse me. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys that in a little bit. 
Alrighty, so really quick, I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up at Target and what I picked up at the Spirit Store. So we're gonna start with Target first. All right, so first things first, you guys saw that I did pick up the little Toy Story thing, but I think that's okay. I'm just gonna use this as a Christmas gift for um, Lucas for this year. And then this is the squeaky dog toy that I got for them as well, but it squeaks, it really does. But I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the um, basket for the other neighbors for their little dog. It's got something on his mouth, but must be like part of the chew toy. Okay, it doesn't squeak very well. Come on, squeaker. Um, oh, it's up here. Squeak, 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 squeak. So I'm actually gonna stick it in here. This is gonna be part of their little boo, boo bucket. And then um, I picked up some large Ziploc bags. I picked these up too for the go-go squeeze thing for the little boy because that's what I was going to put in um, the little boo bucket as well. But because I've already been booed, I'm not going to put these in there. So I'll probably just bring these and give... Um, <clears throat> give these to lucas i'll give one to lucas and i'll well i'll probably give them both to lucas because i think that i don't know i'll have me i'll say one and give one to parker and one to lucas so anyway i think they're just apple 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 fruit on the go what is this like applesauce i have no clue <laughs> look at me i'm just like buying things i could have alcohol in it for all i know anyway no i think this is for kids this is apple stuff for kids okay so i'm just going to give one to Lucas and maybe one to Parker um, or maybe I'll just give them both to Lucas. I don't know um, I bought some Imodium Not gonna say why but you guys should know um, I bought this large thing of Downy because I've been buying like the smaller ones You know the half the size of these and this one's just so much bigger. So I got that one I'm gonna try this. I haven't tried this stuff yet. It's a new look it says by Tresemme. It's keratin smooth. It's five benefits one system anti-frizz detangles shine softens tames flyaways it's a shine serum so i'm gonna give that a try and then i picked up some travel hairspray i picked up some travel lotion which it's not the travel size i understand but this is the size that i use and then i picked up a lotion for our bedroom um, for when I get out of the bath and the shower and stuff and then I picked up this jacket because I was wanting kind of like a brownish Jacket to wear so this is kind of like, you know I'm gonna wear a shirt underneath it and a pair of jeans and a pair of like brown boots or whatever I just thought this was super cute. I absolutely love this. This is like the main reason why I went to Target so I could get this and then um, This is what I got at the spirit Halloween store. I got this black collared cape I didn't get one with a hood on it because I'm like, why would I need a hood? because I have a, a hat that I'm wearing this one was also cheaper it was $12.99 instead of $16.99 so that was good I did get the cauldron this was $9.99 so this is something that I will put all of my candy in and carry this around um, to give all the little chitlins around the hood and then I got these red and black tights in the adult size or in the plus size we'll see if they fit i highly doubt it but we shall see uh but i thought those would be kind of cute if i did decide to wear these i also have black and white ones so you guys tell me which ones you think would look better black and white or red and black kind of looking for the red and black but anyway uh, and then i got this hat now i know my sister-in-law is supposed to be bringing me my hat back but this one is just so like much better than mine because mine was just plain this one has so much stuff on it that i absolutely loved it so much better and this was 14.99 and these tights i forgot to tell you guys how much those were 8.99 and then i had my coupon of 20 percent off so that's what i used um my coupon on on the total price or some item or something like that but anyway uh now i'm going to uh take some towels that i put in the washing machine before i left and take those out and put them in the dryer and then get started with my day i'm going to put this stuff away and yeah get started with my day here at home since i've already gotten started with my day out and about getting to started with my day here at home Alrighty guys, so I'm actually going to go ahead and end the vlog here because I have other videos that I want to work on today and tomorrow and into next week um, that's going to be posted while we are gone. That way you guys have a video while we're gone. Um, 
So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog and get this up and edited for you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me the past couple of days. I know I enjoyed hanging out with all of you. If you guys enjoyed this, huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.